I'm good on my own. And if a man comes into my life, yeah, it's, it's gravy if he has money. You mm. know what I mean? Uh, but at this okay. point, it's like, I'm good on my own too. I mean, I don't need a man to make a million dollars to make me happy and to take me on trips and to take, like, I could take myself. So welcome back to another episode of the Sergio Talks podcast. It's your boy, Sergio Talks. It's your boy, Matt. It's your boy, Carl. And we are with... Cynthia. There you go. Um, but today's topic, what we wanted to talk about more or less is... Yeah, what, what's okay. your what's your go to word to use while you're having sex? I don't want to say it the way I say it. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> just say it like in the most like okay, but it's super simple. It's just the oh my god. Uh, but like okay, I, I, <laughs> now I'm curious. How the fuck do you say it? I moan it. Yeah, I moan it. You know what, what I'm saying? What do you say? We're good. <laughs> Shut the fuck up. Say it. I know what he. I wasn't expecting you to say Why that. Why the fuck would I say? Why would you know what I say? <laughs> I say. <laughs> no, I just. I, I mean, I feel like I know what you what say. Is it? Something like, uh, something like you, you, you good little slut type of vibe. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? Yeah, you're right. <laughs> <laughs> the weird place that the internet is at, you know, if you're familiar with like the whole like red pill, blue pill community, you have like the Andrew Tates, you have all those guys. Red pill, blue pill? That, I, I don't know what that is. No? No. It's so funny. Yeah. <laughs> no. Yeah, because we, no. we just had someone else too that said the same thing. So like red pill, blue pill is like, red pill is like the, the, the guys on the internet that are representing, I guess we could say like misogyny, like toxic masculinity. Okay. Like wanting a girl that has a low body count and all those things and blue pill. Yeah. Traditional. Traditional woman. And blue pill is more so like the opposite, which, which is, is kind is of like it? a little bit more like open minded. Okay. Uh, just less stern on being like, a, I don't know. Like, a tra- like less traditional, a less traditional, like not tr- less traditional, but I mean. Yeah. Do you believe in like the 50 50 uh, mindset? Do you feel like it's like on the male side at the beginning, the female after? Like, how do you feel about the whole thing? It's <laughs> honestly, it's uh, no, it's a tough question because ob- like I was in a relationship for for three years and like we lived together and everything. So, mm-hmm. um, fifty fifty. I mean, obviously, there's gonna be some points in the relationship where it's not always gonna be fifty fifty, right? Someone's right. gonna be doing sixty, someone's gonna be doing forty. So, do I believe in fifty fifty? I mean, yes and no. Mm-hmm. You know, like you both have to. You definitely both have to put in your 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 effort and and play your play your part, play right. your role, but. I don't know. It's uh, it's not always gonna be fifty fifty. That mm-hmm. I can tell you that much. So, mm-hmm. to believe in that, I don't, I'm not sure. But like, like I said, you you both have to put in the effort. Whether yeah. someone someone can have an off day, you know, and the other person's gonna have to pick up kind of their slack, or, or if you will, or if you want to look at it that way, mm-hmm. um, and vice versa. You know, like if someone, if you're in a relationship with a partner and some like either or not is not doing well, like right. you're gonna have to help one one another, right? So. I don't know. I guess. What about like on a financial standpoint? Like, like what about like the the bills? Like fifty fifty, like stuff like that more. <laughs> well, like is it your fifty fifty is more like he's paying the bill, but you're cooking? Like, what is your thought on that? So, <sighs> I don't want to use my past experience because like i don't want him to see this so. no man what about just like you <laughs> as general, like what do you yeah. want more like future than your past maybe um yeah like it's that that's like what you said like you know like okay if, you, if my man's gonna do this for me well yeah like i'll i'll, I'll do that for him so mm-hmm. yeah for sure i agree i agree with that you know like if he's gonna pay the bills well then yeah like i'll i'll, I'll be cooking. cooking i'll be cleaning you mm-hmm. know like I'll, I'll be i'll i'll be the woman right, right. Mm-hmm. so the woman is the nurturer, right? So you, the woman makes the house a home. I feel, and and the husband or boyfriend or whatever is like the breadwinner. I right. Guess, okay. You know? It's just funny that I really loved your take on what you just said earlier, and it's just so funny because it reminded me of this video. I don't. You're gonna know who this is, but I don't know him by name. But he's obviously a basketball Dwayne player. Wade. Which um, Dwayne Wade. So there you go. So Dwayne Wade kind of saying the same dynamic that you just explained, right? First of all, let's say I have twenty to fifty responsibilities. Right. And my wife have 20 to 50 responsibilities. And when I say that, that means she has a mother, she has a sisters, she has her dad, she has her she has a lot of things that she's responsible for. Right. You know what she does? Right. She pays 100% of that. Right. You know what I do? I pay 100% of my life. When our life come together, my wife is a working actress right. who spends time away from the family to go work to our job. Field. Right. We decided together because I think I said one time when we was in Miami, I said something about it being my house that I paid for. Uh-oh. My wife looked at me 
me, she was like, you will never say that to me again when it's something that we share. And so my wife was like, that, when we move to L.A., I got half on it. You will never say my house again. Wow. She said, you can say that in the arena. <laughs> <laughs> and so in, in, in our life, my home, my daughter, 50-50, we right. share it together. Right. Now, there's some things I pick up or some things she pick up, but she does something I do. I right. do something. Right. If we, take a, if we take a yacht trip, we can do it 50-50, or I can do it myself. But my wife is a working woman. Right. She's a boss and an independent woman in her own life. Right. She's like, I'm going to put, you know what, that little 200, that little uh, 200 <laughs> that you was going to spend on this, I'm going to throw something else on there. We're going to go on a bigger trip. We're going to ball up. Like, this is my wife. Right. Right. So, like, we're talking about, obviously, a guy that's super wealthy and well-off, right? But he has, obviously, a partner who's also doing her own thing and is saying, like, nah, if you want to go on a trip and you want to spend 10K, no, let me put 10K too and let's make it 20K. Mm. Is, he, is he dying? He was. He, I, I always tell him, I don't know why he drinks water while being on set. It, like, what happened? He choked on water. <laughs> Actually, poor guy. No, not poor guy. Because I tell him all the time, like, just wait until after. Yeah, they'll drink before and after. Carl! <laughs> Carl. Um, but it was just interesting that the dynamic was, like, they're, they're both bringing in money, but she has the mindset of doing 50-50, but in different ways. Mm. To the point where, I don't know if you, you picked up on it, but, she, but he said, like, this is my house. But then when they moved to L.A., <clears throat> she's like, you're never going to say it's your house ever again because I'm putting Twice. 50 on the house. Okay, so how do you feel about that? Seeing this video, would you go like that? It makes sense. Yeah, it definitely makes sense for sure. I just didn't finish it all the way because it was a little bit long, but yeah. he, it ends up saying we're like, if I put an eighty, well, she's gonna fill in the other twenty. But exactly. And that's kind of like what you exactly. were saying, right? Exactly. So and it's not always fifty fifty. It's just like I said, like sometimes, you know, someone's someone is having an off day. Okay, maybe they're at forty percent. You're gonna have to put in that extra sixty or whatever. Yeah. You know, it's fifty fifty. It's like. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you know what I mean. Yeah, I think people like misconstrue the fifty fifty. Exactly. Thing. I, mean, I think people think like it's fifty fifty effort, it's fifty like, fifty money, fifty fifty everything. But it's like no, it's like. I uh, actually hate fifty fifty if yeah. anything. Yeah. Like if you're gonna, if you're gonna be counting your pennies to fifty, like fifty right. fifty, like okay, no. Yeah. What kind, what kind of man is that? Like I, right. I want someone that's gonna be okay, like a. Uh, Babe, like, oh, I didn't, uh, you know, this month was, wasn't was a good month. Okay, babe, like, don't worry, I yeah. got you, whatever. And vice versa, mm -hmm. you know, if my mm -hmm. man is, like, not doing well or whatever, okay, like, don't worry, I got you, yeah. you know? So. Yeah. And it could also be a thing, too, like, I wouldn't go on dates with my girl. Like, we're talking about, like, being in a relationship and expecting a 50-50, meaning that, like, you know, every now and then she pays for the dinner date. It would be more so, like, you know, I pay for the dinner date. And maybe at some point during the week or during the month, like, you just randomly come and buy and you say, like, hey, like, let me give you a massage. Of course. You know what I mean? Yeah. Mm -hmm. That to me Absolutely. ends up becoming like a like a 50 50 yeah. thing. That's like a little like, it's, it's, I appreciate you know, yeah. I appreciate you took me out for dinner. For sure. Or like yeah. a thank you or just coming home with something or you thought of me, you went to the grocery store, you but you you got me yeah. something thinking of me. It's not, it's not like the dollar amount, you know? For sure. If you put words to it, it's literally just matching energy. It's just just giving back the energy exactly. in a different way. Exactly. Much. I'm bringing you on a date for something and you bring back this energy in a different way. And yeah. then this brings the like 50-50 type of thing. Yeah. yeah. It's just that it's I a little agree. bit tricky because some people take it as like being transactional. Where like I yeah. don't want that dynamic. I don't want my girl to think that it has to be that way. Like you do something for me, I do something for you type of thing yeah exactly yeah. Like I, w I don't want to do something and doing it with like the expectations that i'm gonna get something in return yeah no you know? obviously not like if you're with someone it's because you're doing it out of the goodness of your heart right, right. you don't expect something in return from them it's yeah. just but there's some people that are like that though some some guys will be like well i did this for you like mm. dana dana type of thing yeah like yeah. i did that like or like a guy will be like you know can you scratch my back she'll be like no he'll be like well i just like mm. i just took you out to dinner expecting you know? yeah Mm -hmm. Yeah, then that's not good. Yeah. So we got a question for you. <laughs> what would you consider for you and your relationships, whatever, a high value man? How would you define a high value man to you? You know what's funny is that someone asked me that same question actually like a month ago. And, and uh, anyways, it's funny <laughs> that you asked me the same question. Um, I don't know. For me, a high value man is someone that really has like his emotions like mm. on lock. You know, like the... Okay. Like, that for me is super important. Like, someone that doesn't, you know, is not... Uh, doesn't feed into his emotions. Exactly. Someone that is, like, calm, zen. Like, you know, someone that is just very aware of, okay, well, like, I can't... Like, basically what you said. Someone that doesn't feed into their emotions, mm -hmm. you know? Yeah. So, yeah, like, obviously, whatever. You want a man that has a good job, this, the whole yeah. basic 
mm-hmm. you know, stuff. But for me, like I said, it's really someone that has like their emotions in check and someone that knows how to value your ma- a man has to value a woman as well and sees the value of a woman, you know, mm-hmm. he knows how to treat a woman too, not just well, you're my you're my girlfriend, you I expect right. you to do this or I expect you to do that. No, like mm-hmm. Because there's that's the, what's important for me. Yeah, and, and I agree on it because there's a lot of girls that like associate uh, like a men's value like on the internet. Like when we're talking about the like, whole red pill stuff, is like they expect a guy to be, uh, which I'm not saying it's wrong to have these, uh, I guess prerequisites, right? But it, it's mainly like six foot, makes X amount of dollars a year. Um, what else is there? Um, tall, yeah. Like tall, funny, <laughs> goofy, personality like, traits, like uh, leader, leader, yeah. oriented, and all that stuff. I'll be honest with you, I'm a, I'm tall. I'm a tall <laughs> girl. I'm five nine, so like, yeah, I, I can't really date like a That's shorty. Fine, yeah. You know what I mean? So yeah, yeah for me, yes. That's crazy. She said shorty. Yeah. <laughs> a shorty. <Damn. laughs> Not shoddy. Shorty. Shoddy. Yeah. Gotcha. <laughs> it's yeah, a shoddy yeah. Shorty. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. Like for me, I whatever i mean mm-hmm. i don't want to sound shallow but yeah, yeah. I, I do like prefer my men yeah. taller you know carl's like like what like six two <laughs> <laughs> yeah. no but I, I get that and I, again i don't think there's any wrong with having like a preference yeah so oh. you know what i mean do you have preference like like certain things it's like yeah no like if if you don't have that like it's not working um for me height is like a non-negotiable right that's how my short p- would you date a guy like uh five ten let's say would you I like to wear heels though. That's the problem. Okay, so he has to be taller than I you. I don't. I don't mind. Like if the the thing is is like if I'm really in love with someone, I kind of kind of like I'll look past that. You know right. the whole height like, thing. Literally. I mean, <laughs> wow. <laughs> oh my days. <laughs> that was good. <laughs> that was good. That was funny. But um, I mean, yeah, like I'll, I'll look past it. But in general. Yeah, it's, the height is like it's, it's a non-negotiable. Kind of a non-negotiable. Everything else is just like secondary. Yeah. 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 What if what if he was shorter than you, but he had everything else in check? Still mm. non-negotiable. Like it depends how short. Like are you a five, five six? Seven. Are you a five? No. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. It's a no for me. What about uh financial status? Like, is there a certain amount you're like, yeah, I'm not dating that and under? There was a podcast that I saw with these girls and they were asking, like, the guy was asking them, what what amount of money does your man have mm-hmm. to make? I don't know if you guys saw it. Yeah, or... we reacted to it. Mm-hmm. Oh, was it It was you? Okay, where they're like, oh, I have to, I have to make a million? Was yeah. it you guys? Yeah. Okay, well, we, 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 this is crazy. <laughs> this Our is, reaction, it's yeah. us. Yeah. yeah, we reacted to it. Yeah. Okay. Anyways, they were saying like, yeah, my man has to make over like a million dollars or like, I don't know what the hell these girls were saying. But yeah, like, huge amounts. Digits. But what do you do though? Yeah. Like, what do you do? Love yeah. this energy. Mm. <laughs> no, but it's true. Like, you want someone to make a million dollars, but like, what do you bring to the table? Because mm. like, you look like a thotty to me on, on the <laughs> podcast. You know what I mean? <laughs> Damn. Oh, shit. Am I bad? No, 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 you can, you can say whatever. It's unfiltered. I just feel like, I don't know, like I'm a hard working woman, you know, mm-hmm. like I make, I make my, like I make my money, you know, I, I go to work every day. I, I'm a hairdresser. Like I, mm-hmm. it's, it's work. Like people right. say like, you might think I hairdresser or whatever. No, but let me tell you, I'm a freaking therapist. I'm mm-hmm. like, you know. Therapist. I'm That's serious. Well, Bar- Bar- Barbara's my yeah, therapist, Barbara's therapist, bro. Let me tell you, I'm a therapist. I'm like, I'm a scientist because I have to like make my colors and shit. And sometimes yeah. like, I don't have this. Oh my God, what am I going to do? Like, mm-hmm. so for me, it's just like. You're nonstop on the clock kind of thing. That. Yeah. But also, like I said, like back to, back to going, to going back to what I was saying. I'm a hardworking woman. So. For me, I'm. Oh, the, where the I'm getting? I'm going off track now. No, no question was uh, like financial standpoint. When I'm like, when a man is there, like you wouldn't go under like him That's making hundred. Yeah, or so I wouldn't like you know like I, these girls were saying like oh like they want their man to make money, but like like I said, what do you do? I know that I work hard, and yes, I would want my man to make money as well. But at least mm-hmm. I bring something to the table, also, you know. Right. So you can't just expect a man to make money when it's like, what is your yeah. current status right you know what so, you bring to the table yeah, essentially exactly. but if i'm asking like you personally like is there like a, a, a money amount that you're like yeah like definitely my man needs to be doing more or so like equal i mean i'm not gonna put a finger on it but i'm not gonna like 
and not not to sound you know whatever, but like I don't know if you're making like uh, peanuts like twenty thousand dollars. No, but it's it's I'm so, not gonna date a bum either. Yeah, yeah, no, for sure. I, there's no there's no it's not a bad thing. Like I know it could sound bad if you want it's preference. Like we said, if you want someone that has a, if you have a lifestyle, a certain lifestyle, no. and you want your man to have the same. No, just because like I make my own money too. Okay, you mm-hmm. know what I mean. I'm good. Like at this point in my life. I'm good on my own. And if a man comes into my life, yeah, it's it's gravy if he has money. You mm-hmm. know what I mean? Oh, but at this point, it's like, I'm good on my own too. Right. You know what I mean? I don't need a man to make a million dollars to make me happy and to take me on trips and to take, like, I could take myself mm-hmm. on trips. Sure. Would you take your man <laughs> on a trip? To pay for him? Mm-hmm. I think it could be nice. Mm-hmm. Like for a babe, like your 30th birthday or whatever, like I got us a trip. You know, I think that oh. could be cool. Yeah. Nice. Did you say 38th birthday? 30th. 30th. Oh, okay. <clears throat> okay. No, Not 38, 38. How would you guys feel if your girl took you out on a Yeah, what do you think? Oh, definitely your like, yo. Like, I mean, like, I don't know. Like, if you had a girlfriend, or whatever, okay, you're living together, babe, like, it's your 30th. I yeah, got us a trip. Definitely. Yeah. Like, for four days, let's say. I don't know. I think it'd be cool. Four or five, anything, ten days. If anything, she'll pay for the, the the trip, but I'll pay for the food. I'll pay for, like, the extra that's in the Once, you're, once you're there. Exactly, yeah. But yeah, I'd love that. It's cute. And I'd pay her back with. With what? Say it, please. With um, activities. Yeah, exactly. Fun time, you know? Right. Yeah. Fun times. Keyword, yeah, fun, fun times. times. Yeah. 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 I agree yeah, with him. 100%. Yeah, I would do the same thing. What? Until my jaw locks. Huh? That's crazy. That's crazy. <laughs> what? Hey, listen, man. Well, isn't it a good way to pay yeah, back? Yeah. I think so. Yeah. See? You got to do what you got to do. Businessman. 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 <laughs> Anyway, so yeah, so um, move on. Blizzard. D- <laughs> oh, <wow. laughs> oh my god! Wait, am I getting put on the spot? On your own podcast? Shit. No, now we're bro. <laughs> okay, actually, yeah, can we make this a roasting Matt segment? No, what? <laughs> what is this about? Why you happen. say yes, you? What's your problem? Yes. Hello. Did you know that Matt used to, like this? Did you know that Matt used to be a sugar baby? Actually, hmm? I see it. Wow. Wow. I didn't say that. She <laughs> said it. it. And you three said times. it on the podcast. So yeah, it's, it. it's free information. You were actually a sugar baby. Yeah, three times. Like, pour de vrai? Yeah. That I didn't know. I didn't you know it was three times. Three times. You did times. know. You did know. Times. Times. You did know. You if did I didn't know. know, he didn't know. Didn't you, know. We didn't know. If, if we go, you, these guys, if I explain exactly who and what, you'll be like, oh, yeah, I do remember. Okay, now. so then comment down below if, if, if we all knew. Because the first time that I knew, well, not the first time, but the only time that I knew is the one that you said on the podcast. Same. So tell me, like, I w- tell me all about it. But it <laughs> I want to know, I, what did she I, do for you? I, no, it's I, a, I, I, what did I, you do I, for her? Well, my jaw needs to be locked. That's it. Like, it's, okay. It wasn't her. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> this is crazy. I don't know. Yeah, man. no. Well, obviously, older women, and then they have, like, a, a different lifestyle. They're just, I don't know. Like, they're, they're not in a relationship. They're in their 35, 40, whatever it is. And they just want something different. Oh, really? So it, it was more a trip for them to be like, I'm 35, I'm 40, I can pull. Like at that time, I was but like, but when younger. you see, uh, like Sugar Baby, like you were a Sugar Baby, were they buying you things? Yeah. What? I think Get certain, out I, of here. I think to a certain degree, I could say also that I was a Sugar Baby too. Yeah. I listen. Because when being, when being, were you? Are we the only non-Sugar Babies here? I was also. What? Not as much as uh yeah. Well, because if you think about it, anybody who's gifting me money, yeah, they're all they're all mm. women. It's all they're, they're they're all they're all older. They're either single <clears throat> single moms. Definitely a lot of moms. Okay, I get what you mean. Yeah, but it's like to a little degree that you're. But were you exchanging degree. services? No, I was just like like I don't like this word exchange of services as like I'm an escort or something. Yeah, well, but just, <laughs> I, I'm just I'm just that much better of a sugar baby. I don't even have to do anything. <laughs> I mean, if you think about it, <laughs> I'm joking. It's just because I, I, like, I, I live stream, right? Okay. And the people that are giving money, okay, it's it's them. Or if they're buying stuff, hmm. some people will like will just like buy merchandise, not even needing it, and just being like, "Don't shit me out anything." Hmm. Would you be a sugar baby? No. Okay, so no. so <laughs> flat out no. Conversation over. <laughs> Zero. Oh, wait, pause. We'll rephrase it. You're how old are you now? I'm 28. So you're 28. There's this man comes. He's 35. Mm-hmm. Man of your gene. He has everything going on. He's like, 
I'm gonna provide and give you everything you want. Okay. Are, and are you gonna be like, no, like I want to work and be a therapist? Hold on, no, but that's the, that's not a no. <laughs> if the guy, if we're in a relationship, no relationship, no, no relationship. But like, like it's no. it's like kind of. It's not. I'm not saying it's exclusive, but it's like you guys have no label whatsoever. But he's doing everything for you. Yeah, no relationship. You, it's it's on a on a sugar baby status. That's yeah. it. But you have everything. He buys you, you want. everything. Bro, the way you you're hesitant, <laughs> it's a yes. I don't know because no, but because I'll not? be honest. I'm gonna be honest with you. Okay? okay, I'm gonna be honest with you guys. Okay. <laughs> I could have had that with right. someone. I could have had that with someone to be honest, and I could have. I could have. You know. I think I still can. Like <laughs> I, I could, I well, obviously she can yeah. if she wants. In a matter no, but of like second. I could have used him in that sense, whatever. Right. But it's just like, wh- why? Like, I, I, no, that's not. I don't want it's that. Like, you. I want to. Okay. Re- mm-hmm. Like, if I'm gonna be with someone, I want to be in a relationship with someone. If we're in a relationship, honey, <laughs> buy me whatever. Right. Okay. You know what I mean? But yeah. like, I'm not. It's not my style, to be mm. honest. I find it a bit like degrading. I don't know. Mm. Not. It's not degrading to, to you. Towards yeah, you? to me. You're degrading towards me. To wait for him to buy him her gifts. I don't need a man to buy me my stuff. Degrading, isn't it? Like I see the opposite. Degrading more for him. Why? Like if he, because you know when you have the status of like the 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 sugar baby and the <clears throat> woman is like she's almost like dominant. It's like you give me this, you get in the guy's like. You just no, but that's not, just, that's not that's not what it is though. Some, the, the, yeah, well, some girls the, are. In I their understand, foot. but the dynamic is more like when the guys have that amount of money, that is what they want, and that's what the guy feeds off of. Like they feed off the fact of being used like in, have, to, in that yeah. in, in that degree. Yeah, like but the that's guy, what I mean. The guy is gaining on it, so he's not feeling himself degraded. He's feeling he's feeling, he's feeling good. He's feeling he has power, money to him. Good. It's like he doesn't. He doesn't, he doesn't really. He's care. saying he's basically saying, "Use me, I'll buy you whatever you want." He feels fulfilled doing that, so he doesn't feel. I think Matt's talking about other people like. No, People I'm talking as like why do as his, he is being degrading. Bro, if you're that rich, you think he gives a fuck what other people think? I get it, but why yeah. the the word pay pig of like use me? Pay it is pig, deg- they're not that rich. Pay pigs are they're they're anywhere between being really rich or they could be broke. Some pay pigs are a lot of them are also they're in relationships. What's a pay pig? It's pay pig, a, it's like guys that like to be um, kind of like mistreated. Okay. and they, like basically they'll be like a girl. They'll be like, I'll buy you whatever you want. Like mistreat me, like. Treat me badly. I'll be like your little piggy. The girl has to treat the guy badly. Yeah, yeah. and the guys really? will give them money, buy them things, stuff like that. But those guys are not like sugar daddies. Those are like just regular average Joes. Yeah, yeah okay. that just have like an extra like bit of money or fangirling or fanboying over someone. But Trust, it's, bro. It's, bro. I don't pay piggies and gold and and sugar daddies are two very different. things. Okay, you know what? I'm gonna say it just like that. As as much as I can attract both sex, as gay dudes being rich as shit in my dms and they want to be treated like dog shit so yes it is degrading in my opinion there's sugar daddies yes they have money and whatsoever so they don't feel like degraded <clears throat> but there's other men that even if they're rich as fuck their trip is to be degraded in a way of like mistreat me the same way you said but they're not pay pigs they're still rich but i feel like that's going mean? into a fetish now yeah, yes exactly. okay okay that's fetish. fetish okay like good some guys this have is foot feet fetishes foot feet Feet? feet? Yeah, feet, feet fetishes. Yeah. Feet. Yeah, feet fetishes. So this is... Okay, now it makes more sense. So in that way, there's men. They're just... That's what they are. They're just like that. They're fetishes to have this whatever woman, 20 years old, they're 40, they're rich as shit or whatsoever, and they want to be mistreated in exchange. Pay, do whatever. Ask me whatever you want me to do. Mm. So for me, this is in that way. I'm like, well, technically, it is kind of degrading because the, the girl is only gaining in a way that like pay me shit i don't have to do anything whatever whatever i can you ask you whatever i can him. talk to you huh? you still have to sleep with him yeah sometimes that's sometimes yes but sometimes sugar baby you don't you just said it you don't have to give sugar this is how much some men is just like let's say for me one one of the when i was a sugar baby one other girl is i didn't have to do sugar i can't believe you were a sugar baby. no i didn't have to because some girls are like just like <clears throat> I, I want to look Yeah, but good. you're diff- you're the guy, so it's different. So it's like, why wouldn't you want to get it in? No, okay, I, I get what you mean. But you can also, like, if you pay me just to go to the restaurant with you. Yes, okay. I don't know how to give sh- Maybe I'm not attracted Hold to Hold on. Her. Yeah, she's going to pay you. But then to actually be there and give your energy and pretend that you give a fuck about what she's saying. Do you really feel like doing that? Uh, I personally. 100%. Pay me up, bro. Excuse I don't. Me. 
Absolutely not. If it was just like if it, we're just talking about just like a paid dinner and yes. that's it. Yes. No. I can't. For me, it's a waste <gasps> of money. You guys energy. think you guys pause. Think, okay. pause. You would. Oh my day, Sergio. You, wait, wait. This is wait, wait. Please. You you caught me off guard. I thought you were different. Me? If, yeah. If I was, You're agreeing with him. This guy, this if, guy, this guy will eat a rat for a hundred dollars, but not going on a date to talk with a girl for five hundred bucks. That's crazy. The a hundred dollars goes to me. I could do whatever I want. A hundred dollars. We're talking about wasting my time that I could never get back. First of all, you're but your you'll eat a rat. rat. Okay. First of all, I said a grand for a rat <laughs> no, minimum. No. <laughs> Play the clip. Sorry. I don't oh care. And you guys, <laughs> you guys, and so you guys are telling me you guys know me with my patience. If it's a girl that I do not genuinely care about, you guys think that I will be able it's to sit. An hour. You, it's not an hour. Date's not an hour. What? I, what date? A date okay. is not an hour. Anyway, okay. sorry. Okay, bottom, okay. My, okay. You, 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 you guys are telling me, say on God on your lives that you guys know in my patience on a girl that I do not care about emotionally that you guys think I will be able to sit through an entire date just for the dinner to be paid <laughs> rather than just go get Wait, fucking no. get no. paid for get the dinner. For I, the my dinner. question to you guys was is this is it my question no my question to you guys was is is the only the dinner being paid you guys said yes no, no. you're getting paid how much to am i getting paid how much like that's why i just said 500 bucks to go to the dinner not just to get okay obviously now i can understand but you're getting paid 500 bucks to just go to a random dinner for two hours for if two it's- hours <laughs> two hours 500 dollars is sweden's the deal but like it would have to be more Type of Bro, thing. This is expensive as fuck. <laughs> Come on, man. You guys know that I value my time a lot. Okay, so we don't. Honestly, no. it depends. You, on- <laughs> you out of anybody, you don't value your time. Me? Yes, you. Why? Because your first dates are between eight and twelve hours long. Actually, actually where the hell do you go? Actually, Everywhere. Do you do? He brings. He gives her the eight tour to of Montreal. Hours. <laughs> Breakfast. Carl. Dinner, Carl. Carl will be like, "Hey, we're at bowling," and then at night is gonna be like, "We're in a helicopter." It's a great day. You know what I'm saying? But it's a great day. Okay. And how's you that relationship going? <laughs> no, 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 no. How's, how's how's that relationship going? I'm single. But, there you go. Um, you know. But uh, no, it's fun. It's like it's it's me. I can't end the day. I'm just like, okay, you want to do this? And yeah, okay. But do you like you don't do you feel any emotional um anything towards her? No, he texts us after saying that he regrets his life. <laughs> kind of. Damn. I'm stuck, that's why. That's okay. I'm like, fuck okay, it's boring. And I can't go home. Oh. So you see, it would have to be more so than five hundred. You, you do bucks. it to yourself, basically. But at first I don't know. You know what I'm saying? Mm. So I just talk to her, I'm like, Okay, yeah, you're boring. No, it's because like Carl Carl has this thing where like he forgets he's on a date. And like what he's doing as the activity, like he genuinely has fun doing it. That he forgets he's on a date. Yeah. So like if oh he goes God. to bowling, for him. yeah. Like if he goes bowling, he's having like a blast yeah. bowling. And then like every time he has to, he, he turns to her, he's like, oh, fuck, I forgot I'm on a date. Uh, <laughs> like I have to talk. She's but, here. but I strike him. <laughs> <No! laughs> oh, that's fun times oh always. God, you know, that's I like so it. Funny. And it's only eight hours. Stay toxic. <laughs> she said it on me. Hey, Okay, coming to another question. Would you tell me? Is there a, okay? Would you? How can I say that? Would you want your man to be okay? What do you consider toxic? Let's put it this way, and I'll ask the other question. That's vague. <laughs> that yeah, like that's that is vague. Oh, okay, uh, you know the sentence says uh, "nice guys finish last." Yeah. Good Would you want a nice that. guy, or you want a guy that's gonna bring you some roller coasters? No, like ro- like I've been I, like I said in my last relationship, it was definitely roller coasters. So no, I feel like I'm at the age where it's like I just want peace and just like growth, you know, mm, like we just okay. grow together and like I don't have time to argue. It's like it's it's really like it drains my energy. Yeah, for sure. And already with work, that's so fucking draining also. So it's like I don't want to go to work, get drained from work and then get get drained Drain from home. you. No, I I need you to be like my safe space type mm. of thing, you know? Mm. That's that's the type of relationship I'm looking for. Mm. So I I understand what you're saying though in the sense of like you always need that a bit of like um Cause, toxicity. Cause, cause not toxicity. How like I to see keep it, you on your toes type yes, of thing. Yes, because how I see it, I would and obviously if you've seen the podcast whatever, these guys saying I'm toxic because of it, but I do but believe in it. But I do believe in it, and that's why I had long-lasted relationships. That you have to keep your girl on your toes. How? how what? What is your long-lasting six relationship? Years. Six years. Yeah. Okay. And that's and even before that, like I've never <clears throat> I've never dated a girl for less than a year. Like I was two or three years, something like that. Okay. And you were in love with all of them. But well, let's, I had three girlfriends and four from the TV show. Can I help y'all? 
first girlfriend. Why are you laughing? Yeah, I don't know. I, just, no, it's I actually don't know. It's because I, I don't want him to get uh, any trauma back. Oh, you know? my days. Like, first, just to be like, ah. First is first love. So okay. it's like a different type of love. Second was, and I was very honest, and I said in the podcast, it was a rebound. 100% okay. rebound because of my first love. How long did you stay with this rebound? A year and a half, maybe. That's a long time for a rebound. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> What's wrong with you? <laughs> rebounds are like two months, three months max, like yeah, but tops. This, because I didn't know it was. How a do rebound. you stay with that? It's like, because I didn't know it was a rebound at first. You know. No, like it, it was you like. You know. Uh, no, at that time I was like fourteen, so I didn't know. Like I was not even mature. Had a rebound at fourteen. Fourteen. God damn. <laughs> damn. But, uh, fifteen, but. Yeah, well, Still. I okay, so lost continue. My at like 13 with my first love. Told me too, man. I didn't get a rebound at 14. <laughs> That's crazy. I don't know, bro. Listen. Okay, continue We're to your, your, your you, next bro. relationship. You are. I am. Whatever. Yeah, exactly. Whatever. Rebound. And then I got single a little bit. And then whatever, whatever. And then I got in my relationship for like six years. Okay. So this is like my <clears> track record. And then I went on the TV show. And then I was with the girl the tv show okay Which so I, 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 all that to come back to the fact that it, well in my experience it's always better to keep the girl on her toes in some type of way and it's not toxic in a way that's like arguing necessarily you like the gas so light. so what gas. do you so what do you mean when you say what is your definition of keeping a girl on her toes this well, i would I'd love to hear this one do you guys want to say it for me seems like you're starting so go i'm just saying you like the gaslight girl yeah gas i love the gaslight light. so As fuck Okay, I know a gas like I've heard of the term gaslighting. Just give me an example of like of what gaslighting is. Can you please explain it before I say some shit and you correct me? <laughs> That's absolutely ridiculous, bro. We've been here for three hours. My fault. Okay, go. Uh, gaslighting is like, <clears throat> like let's say a girl comes up to Matt, mm-hmm. right, and his girl is standing right next to Matt. Okay. She flirts with him, right? Uh, Matt says, "I have a girlfriend," and the girl walks away. Now, Matt's girlfriend, having seen this, she's like, was she flirting with you? Matt's the type of person to be like, like, yeah, like, what's it to you? Mm. No. <laughs> or like, I like oh, the offer. He's going to say, he's going to say, which, um, um, what, you're jealous? Yeah. You know but like, I know you hear it in a toxic way, but it has never been a problem me saying those type of things. It was always, I was broski. Sancho, bro, both of y'all, are you okay? What? Acting like this was ever a problem as, as <laughs> arguments. Pat, okay, Sergio, please name me one time. Mm-hmm. As you've been there, my six year relationship and my past relationship, and it was and it was toxic. No, it was not toxic for those reasons. Never, it was not that. It was. Uh, do you want me to say it out loud? Sure. It was for fucking lies, like <laughs> lies. It has nothing to do with gaslight. But I just feel like that, like you, that sets up the relationship to go into like that direction. No, it had never been a subject. Literally, never, ever. The gaslighting and you lying about something specific has was never a subject directly. Let let the, the people be the, uh, be the judge. No, but they can be a judge. Obviously, if they don't know like the relationship, they're gonna say, "Yeah, obviously." Like you're right. Like if someone gaslight, it sounds negative as fuck, most definitely. But in my relationship, ga- the gaslighting I've done was never a subject. I've never argued over this because I've always done it. Like if you're in front of me and the girl comes up to me and flirts with me, I'm super respectful in a way that's like, I have a girlfriend, go away, blah blah, blah all this, <clears throat> and, and then, therefore I play around and I'm playful with my girl. It's more in this, like, she's jealous a little bit. Like, yeah, I just feel jealous. like it's a byproduct of something else. So I feel like maybe you guys are not fighting about that, but I feel like that dynamic makes it that you guys fight about other things that might not seem like it's directly correlated. But that's kind of like the, the tone you set for the relationship, which made the overall relationship toxic. And that was like, that played a part in it. Obviously, if you say it like that, it's like it's right. No, <laughs> but I, I'm just saying because I'm only saying that for the reasons as, let's say, for example... Uh, in, a, in a relationship, right? I'm, it's an example that I'm saying, right? Mm-hmm. Let's say there's the stigma about men being vulnerable with their girls. A lot yeah. of girls will say, <clears throat> you know, they don't mind that, they're, that their man is vulnerable with them and stuff like that. And let's say the man takes that opportunity to do so. Mm-hmm. She might see him and start acting towards him in a different way, not knowing it's the fact that he's being vulnerable with her that made her feel that type of way. But it's a byproduct of him being like that that made her not see him the same way anymore. Mm-hmm. Do you get what I'm saying? Yeah. And, and like in a manly way. In a manly way, yeah. So because I'm not, he was being vulnerable, she sees him as like what, like a. 
Yeah, like I'm, I'm, I'm using like yes, I'm using like a very like dramatic scenario. Okay. But I'm saying like the girl in her mind, it's like oh, like that's not the reason why I feel some type of way about him. But low key, she might not know that that's why she's feeling that way is because of that situation. So I'm just saying there's some some things that people do in relationships that trickles down to other issues that makes the dynamic be a certain way. But like I said, most definitely you're I, right. But I don't think that's a bad thing, though, a man being vulnerable with a girl. No, and I agree. But there's, there's, I, th- I think there's, a, like, a fine line between being vulnerable and, like, too vulnerable. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Like, I'll give you an example. Like, my ex was a cop. And, like, he had, I, I'll never forget it. Like, on, on Christmas Eve, like, he, he got a call and the girl had committed suicide. Mm-hmm. And, like, he, it, he, like, it really, it took him Messing bad. Him, yeah. And, yeah. And, um... I remember like he was just like so sad about it and like he, you know like he was he was he was crying and stuff so yeah. I feel like you know if you, that shows emotion too like you don't want sure. I don't want a man to come home and be like oh like you know she just someone just killed himself and like it just went right over his head like mm-hmm. so I feel like a bit of emotion is fine for it's sure fine yeah you know I mean it's more so along the lines of like the guys that are coming and being vulnerable but are like being are complaining about it and then also not doing anything about it you know what i mean like always coming home being in a in a in a in a bad mood okay yeah and, and, and like and then putting that onto you yeah. rather as just like being a man and like taking care of your business and leaving that outside of home yeah so that the burden doesn't go on to the relationship i feel you, you know what i mean yeah i get that. so like in moments of vulnerability he's having a bad day f- someone passed away like yeah obviously don't hold it in don't not cry yeah. about it to your girl like <clears throat> she should be that safe space for you but i feel like it's like when guys are like overly complaining not on top that's of their emotions and shit that's like that's turn-off. why i feel like a girl uh, like just not up. emotionally uh, what was i saying before Smart. like uh, well emotionally mature exactly yeah yeah and kind of like are dumping it on you yeah like, like you said you already being the therapist that you are having a man now coming on top of that and dumping more vulnerability onto you yeah it's not a vibe yeah I feel you, know? you i agree it so, gets heavy. huh it gets heavy yeah. it does mm, it really I'm does yeah <laughs> it does so we're Carl, do you this. have any questions? I feel like you didn't ask me anything. You actually didn't ask me anything. I don't have the crunchy questions. That's the thing. Yeah, I don't want you to be like scared or anything like that. Scared? Yeah. Me? Yeah. No. Okay. Do you think that um, um, body count matters? F- on both ends? Yeah. I mean, if you've slept with like 120 mm-hmm. women, I mean, it's a, you're a bit disgusting. Okay. Okay. So is there an end number? Like on it's like a high number, or whatever. It's like a is number it, you just like it's too. It's high. a guy comes to you. He's like uh, my body's like uh, fifty. I mean, whatever. Like you're a guy, so I guess I don't know. You're a guy, so oh, I guess. What okay. does that mean? What does that mean? No, no. Do so you think that guy's just like <laughs> trickle down that road? What? Now you're gonna <laughs> go down. into this whole man and woman debate, and like. But that's the point. This uh, is why we're on this podcast. So, like, what about you? Like, <clears> is <throat> okay? Is body count men and women the same thing? No. Oh. It's not. Okay. It's not. I feel like if... Uh, but I don't want to let my women down. Mm. Listen, we all have... I don't know. Like, for a guy, obviously, like, not... Like, I don't want to be whatever, but, like, men are pigs. So, mm. it's like... Like, no offense, but it's true. Like, taken. men are pigs, so... Look at her, like... 100%. Right? Producers being... <laughs> Say it louder for the people in the back. Right? <laughs> men are pigs. No. <laughs> men are pigs. <laughs> okay, no so... Caps, I can't talk shit. So... And you're the least amount of person that could talk shit. What? 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 Thank you. What? Okay. Proceed. I feel like... Men can just have, like, sex without any emotion. You know what I mean? Like, you can go find a girl tonight and, like, okay, it's like hit her up. Guys or, fuck who they can and girls fuck who they want. Exactly. Mm, type of vibe. Get what you that mean. was well said. What can I say? Perfect. Mm. So, yeah. So, it's not the same. Is there a such thing as, uh, what is your number for women's? You're too, uh, high. too high. I mean, I can't really put a number on it, but. Speak for you. I don't know, like, listen, I'm 28, so I'm not going to say that I slept with two guys. Right. Um, like, you know what I mean? Like, I'm, mm. I'm, I'm a grown-ass woman, but I'm not going to say that I slept with 30 guys either. Mm-hmm. So, I don't know, just just be reasonable. Like, don't sleep with, like, everyone, mm-hmm. you know? Yeah. Filter out, filter through your, your men there, like, you know? You know, it's actually funny because I saw, a, like, a statistic that actually 
uh, couples where the woman had only two sexual partners actually had the highest rate of divorce. For sure. Mm. 100%. And the more she had, not by a lot, obviously, the the less chances, chances they had of yeah. divorce. To be very honest, I feel like I would, not that I would want my man to sleep with every woman, but it's like, go experience your life you know, mm. and like do whatever the hell it is that you have to do. Obviously not while you're with me, but you know, go. Bro, what the fuck? I'm so sorry. Are you? It's just a snooze. That's why. But just, but just turn it off. I know, but I, you guys were talking. So I was like, fine, I don't want to put my phone. Right, I'm good. You good? Sorry. Can you restart what you said? Yeah, my phone. What was I saying? Uh, that you want your men to have experience. Yeah, like f- just go experience life. Like, like you know, do do what it is, do whatever it is that you have to do, and then when you're ready to get into a relationship, you don't have that urge of like, oh, but I didn't sleep with this and I didn't sleep with that one. Like, you know, just mm. get it out of your system. And the same for a girl. Like, I'm not saying like again, I'm not saying that you have to go sleep with with a hundred men. You know what mm-hmm. I mean? But Experience. just like guys yeah. like to have their fun, girls like to have their fun too. So I, you can't look at it as oh, like she's a hoe because she's having fun. No, because mm-hmm. you guys do the same thing too. You know what I mean? Yeah. yeah. The, yeah, so, the guys, the guys, their their main complaint, I guess, like on the internet, is just that <clears throat> they say that girls have more so like um, emotional ties when they have sex, mm. whereas like you mentioned before, like guys, they could just like yeah have sex to have sex. I feel like a girl would have an emotional tie to a guy if the guy is not being clear t- with her about what is going on. Mm-hmm. Mm. If a guy is like sleeping with a girl and they're saying, oh, like. I like you and blah, 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 and this and that. You're an asshole. Mm -hmm. And if you know, especially more so if you know that you have no intention of it going anywhere serious. Mm -hmm. I feel like a girl would be less attached to a guy if you set things clear. Like, okay, we're just fuck friends. We're about to swear on this, right? Okay. Like, we're just fuck friends, whatever. This is what it is. Like, you're just there for my basic needs and vice versa, you know? Mm Mm-hmm. Again, like I said, the attachment comes into when the guy is not clear and there's like that confusion and this and that. So the girl's like always wondering like, oh, but what are we? But we're sleeping yeah. together. But this, but you told me you liked me, but you did this, but you were cute with me. You were playing with my hair. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Like, It's also funny because I think I. So the reason why like the red pillars, they bring up that topic is that they say that the women release a chemical chemical reaction to when they have sex with a guy and that's what makes that kind of that like that bonding right Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. but they don't realize is that that happens only when you make the girl come Mm -hmm. and so statistics prove that obviously women are not coming yeah so that bonding is not happening wait say that again say that again that um when that whole like power bonding thing that that guys are talking about that women get like emotionally attached to that person and they have like soul ties with them typically only happens when the girl comes Okay. While she's having sex with the guy. But what those guys, when they're talking about that, are forgetting is that most women are not coming, especially if it's just like a like a one off thing. Mm. Do you get what I'm saying? Yeah. So like I get what you're saying. So like the guys are saying all this shit about like, oh, like the, all the girls get like emotionally like attached. Like, buddy, you're not even making them come in the first place. Mm. No one's having an attachment with you. Do you know what I mean? Mm. I think what was the six that we saw last time? It was like uh, two out of eight women. Yeah. I find that nuts. I feel bad for the I ladies. Do, yeah, I do. But yeah. like, I let's do. say if you, if you talk for your experiences, like yeah. sexual experiences, obviously, if you don't want to talk about it, but it's like, fine. is is it like a difference if if the you fuck with a man, it's very good, but you don't come, and you fuck with a man, and it makes you come. Mm-hmm. Well, obviously, so then then that's what he's trying to say. Like the bonding will more happen. So if you if that guy can make you come. Not necessarily. Oh. Like, not necessarily. I mean, I'm not going to be more attached to a guy just because he made me come. I don't know. <laughs> I mean, she's like, maybe. <laughs> no, well, I, mean, I mean, you know. Like, no, I mean. But statistically, though, like I said, like. the, the I, find, I find that interesting. Yeah, like you guys relieve uh, a chemical reaction when you guys come. Mm. The same thing for us guys, too. Um, but the fact that it doesn't always happen for women when they have sex is, is obviously harder, depending on who you're with. But. It's just, it, it makes that possibility to attach to the guy less likely. Do you know what I'm saying? I, I, I can understand that though. So like, like I feel I, like I girls could have more casual sex if they want to because, because there's not come. that attachment that happens yeah. at the end because most girls are not coming to begin yeah. with. All these guys are saying like, oh, girls can't have casual sex because they get attached to every partner after that. It's yeah. like, buddy, you're not making oh, these partners come. You know what I mean? Yeah. But anyways, fellas, make your lady come if you want to keep her. 
<laughs> if you want to lose her, then don't make her come. <laughs> but if you guys enjoyed that episode, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Don't forget to give us five stars on Amazon, Apple Podcasts, and Spotify. It's been your boy, Sergio's Talks. Super we're Matt. It's boy, Carl. Cynthia. And uh, we'll see you guys next week. Hope you guys enjoyed. Take care. <laughs> Son como...